Um, next, this is a portion of the calendar for members of the public to speak on items not on the agenda. Normally, we reserve 15 minutes for this. We have five speakers. That's 15 minutes. I have seven cards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's try and just get them all in right now. But I am not going to accept any new speaker cards. If somebody walks up with a speaker card and says they want to do this part, they go at the end of the meeting. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say two people's names so we can kind of do this rapidly. If the first person comes up, the next person can just queue up behind them and we'll get um, let everybody have an opportunity to speak. First person is Michael Gonzalez and then Barbara Fukumoto. Hi there. Um, my name is Mike Gonzalez. Hey, uh, I'm with the Green Party of Santa Clara County. I want to first thank you guys for uh, reaffirming your support for the Paris Accords. Also, I want to thank you guys for... Um, uh, addressing your uh, investments and in, uh, direct and indirect for fossil fuels. I know you're doing that today. Um, one thing I wanted to say uh, in, in addition to that, um, you guys are uh, invested in Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo knowingly um, <coughs> defrauded its customers and created uh, false accounts in its, in its customers' names. By doing this, it was to inflate its, its uh, sales. And that's essentially defrauding its investors. And as Sunnyvale is an investor in Wells Fargo, um, the citizens of Wells Far of, of Sunnyvale are investors in Wells Fargo. So I encourage you um, to divest from Wells Fargo even beyond the um, – more. let's put it this way. Um, there's more reasons to divest from Wells Fargo than just um, fossil fuels and the Dakota Access Pipeline. But I appreciate the work you guys have done so far. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, next is Barbara Fukumoto and then Paul Gardner. Well, thanks. Tonight I'd like to acknowledge the lengthening list of climate actions taken by the city of Sunnyvale. Many are years in the making, now coming to fruition. Thank you to council and staff for the vision, commitment, and years of effort to create Silicon Valley clean energy, now providing Sunnyvale residents 100% carbon-free electricity. Council, thank you for making climate action an official priority earlier this year. Thank you, Mayor Hendricks, or should I henceforth say Climate Mayor Hendricks, for tonight's proclamation, reaffirming Sunnyvale's commitment to the Paris Climate Agreement. You're on safe ground. 69% of American voters want to participate in this significant and hard-won agreement. The percentage is likely higher still in Sunnyvale and I'm sure you have the unanimous support of Council. Thank you, Council, for supporting divestment from fossil fuels since 2015, and hopefully tonight as well. Thank you, staff, for being willing to explore environmentally and socially responsible investment. Thank you, Council, for improving the food cycle, and thank you, staff, for all the research, thought, preparation, and effort that went into the residential food scraps recycling program coming this year, including the nine-month pilot program. This program will put thousands of tons of food waste to good use, keep food waste out of the landfill, reduce methane emissions, and reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution that would have been generated from transporting the food scraps way out to Kirby Canyon landfill. I hope residents take advantage of the upcoming outreach meetings to get their questions answered and learn about the program that we and that we all work together to make the program a success. Thank you also to staff for supporting food scrap recycling in businesses and schools in these past years. And thank you, Council, for starting the process tonight, which will result in a new or revised climate action plan to reduce our community's greenhouse gas emissions. The new plan will enable our city to plan beyond 2020 and to meet or better to greatly surpass the state's 2030 greenhouse gas reduction target of 40 percent below 1990 levels. Since we do not have a partner at the federal level, local, state, business, and individual actions take on greater importance. May our community's skill and long-term planning and innovation be put to good use, and may the whole community support the effort. Thank you. Thanks, Barb. And I wasn't trying to be on safe ground. I was trying to be on the correct ground. Um, Paul Gardner and then uh, Richard Waldros. Hello, I'm Paul Gardner. I'm the owner of Hull House Building Supply, a house recycling business, and I live on Rockefeller Drive here in Sunnyvale. I want to say I am horrified uh, that the proper, well, let me 
sorry, let me back up. Let me start by saying I'm horrified by oil companies that have known about the problem of global warming for a decade or more but kept quiet about it. And I'm horrified by how the Native Americans were t treated in North Dakota by DAPL, the Dakota Access Pipeline people. And I'm horrified that the proper EIR was not done for the Dakota Access Pipeline and that Trump was able to shove this thing forward not by following the law but because of naked power and the power of these fossil fuel companies. On the other hand, I am impressed with countries like Germany that, have, that are being proactive on climate change and have really pushed forward with solar and other sustainable energy and have shut down their nuclear power program. Why can't our country be more like this? When the people lead, our elected officials will follow. I am impressed with by cities like Pittsburgh that have passed measures prohibiting the storage of fossil fuels in their city. I'm impressed by many, how many churches and communities have divested from fossil fuel companies and banks and invest in these companies. I am happy that Sunnyvale has adopted a green energy pr program and deserves strong praise for this, but more needs to be done. Sunnyvale does business with some of these banks that are investing in energy transfer partners and other dirty fuel businesses. It is long past time to divest from these banks. Sunnyvale should begin steps immediately to withdraw from these banks. At the U.S. Conference of Mayors a few weeks ago, the mayor strongly opposed withdrawal from Paris Climate Agreement. I applaud the city of Sunnyvale for supporting this and in conclusion, I strongly support efforts by the city of Sunnyvale to divest from fossil fuel companies and hope that includes banks doing business, business with these fossil fuel companies. Thank you very much. Thank you. Richard, okay, I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to deal with one end right now. This is amend the 2017 prior, priority advocacy issues. Ken Dickman. Hello, my name is Ken Dickman. I live at 968 Belmont Terrace in Sunnyvale. I would like to encourage Sunnyvale to <coughs> divest from fo fossil fuels. Um, also, I really want to thank your commitment to the Paris Accord. Fossil fuels are a losing investment. Solar and wind energies are surpassing fossil fuels in lowering costs and renewables will continue to be cheaper than fossil fuels as fossil fuels become harder to extract and technology for renewables improves. I hope everyone was able to stay cool today through this long heat wave. I don't remember it ever being this long decades ago. Fossil fuels contribute to the greenhouse gases. Pipelines leak and pollute. Think about the Exxon Valdez. Renewables are coming, becoming more accessible and creating more jobs. Other countries will pass us if we don't invest in renewable technology. There's also a moral side to the story. Wells Fargo funds the Dakota Access Pipeline, which has already started leaking. Wells Fargo was involved in the mortgage crisis. You may have heard that Wells Fargo has created more than 2 million fake consumer accounts to try to increase their portfolio. There are now lawsuits um, against accusing Wells Fargo of changing their terms of people's mortgages without their consent or knowledge putting families at risk of default and closure, foreclosure. So please divest, and thank you for the, your work on the Paris Accords also. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Um, I have no other speaker cards. Anything from the council? Uh, Vice Mayor? I'm ready with a motion. Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, I move approval of 1N. Councilor Griffith? Second. Uh, any other comments or questions? Um, with that, please vote. The vote is 7-0. Motion carries.